Hello everyone! In this video I will try to show you how I finally managed to solve the problem of the high temperature X570 chipset and loud PCH fan on ASUS X570i motherboard in ITX NK's M1. The first phase is where I try to get the most out of the system and fine-tune the system with the existing hardware components. So, I overclocked the processor to 4.3 GHz with 1.216 volts. I set the existing two Noctua fans from the water cooler to spin uh, at 950 RPM, as well as the bottom two slim Noctua fans. Processor temperatures and fan noise were fine, but there was always a high chipset temperature and very low and noisy chipset fan that spun from 4200 to 5200 RPM. In the second phase, I was thinking about what additional hardware I could buy to improve the airflow through the case and make it cooler. So I bought an Octua NFA 4x10 PVME small fan measuring 40 by 10 millimeters. As I only have two fan headers on the motherboard, one for the chassis fan, I had to buy a fan controller and decision fell on Noctua NI FC1 because uh, it's very small in size. That way I was able to control the speed of the small Noctua fan which I set at uh, 3600 RPM and which is almost silent. Why I control the speed of the lower two fans with an Octua fan controller on the potentiometer at approximately 40%. I also put one 92mm fan on the back on the PC case, but I gave up because it covered the whole heatsink, so the temperatures were lower without it. And the two fans from the water cooler could blow better or the motherboard and VRM. I even had one experiment with 80mm fan that I somehow managed to put up on the PC case and that actually lowered the temperature quite a bit because it was blowing cold air from above. But I gave up because uh, uh, from aesthetic and functional reasons. Uh, chipset temperatures uh, dropped by 3 to 5 degrees and chipset fan reduced rotation from 3700 to 4300 RPM. The chipset fan was the loudest part of my system and could still be heard while everything else was almost inaudible. In third phase, I find out about the bad thermal compound and decided to change it. I found the instruction on the internet and I replaced the existing thermal pad with an Arctic thermal pad, 1.5 mm thick. That way, the temperature of the chipset drops further and the thermal pad had better contact with the heat sink, while the chipset fan return decreased, but not to my satisfaction, and it was still allowed at approximately 3500 to 3700 RPM. In the fourth phase, I decided to modify the BIOS because I found in the several places that by reducing the rotation curve of the PCH fan, much lower fan noise can be achieved with almost the same chipset temperature. A much quieter curve will need just one value changed. PCH fan middle temperature has to be changed from 60 to 80. I found the instruction and successfully applied them and changed the BIOS. And I finally made it. In idle mode, the rotation of PCH fan is 1350 to 1550 RPM while in full load mode when Cinebench 23 is running, 
the rotation on the fan is at 3200 to 3300 RPM. And the whole system is very quiet. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who contribute with their research and knowledge in solving the above problems. Without them, I would not be able to solve the problem of higher temperature, chipset and loud PCH fan. I would like to warn you that this video is not guide on how to do something because it involves a lot more steps in each phase that I mentioned earlier. This is just a short video to help those who have similar problems to inform themselves and look for and apply solution that will satisfy them. Thank you for watching my video.